Hello everyone, welcome to Theory of Computation lecture. In this lecture, we will see the problem. Design a finite automata which checks whether the given unary number is divisible by 3 or not. So, before going to that, what is meant by unary number? If you consider, suppose single time one, so we are representing it as a 1. If suppose unary number 2 times 1, so it is represented as 2. Suppose 3 times 1s are there, so it is represented by 3. Likewise, suppose 5 times 1s, so it is represented by 5. So this is nothing but the unary number. So we have to design the finite automata in such a way that the finite automata is divisible by 3, finite automata is divisible by 6, finite automata is divisible by 9, likewise in a multiple of 3, the finite automata accept only those unary number which is divisible by 3. So how we design a finite automata? In that, firstly we are having the minimum string as, we are having the minimum string as 1, 1. Suppose the minimum string is 1, 1, 1. If you consider the minimum string is 1, 1, 1. So it is represented as 3. So we have to start with the initial state. Suppose initial state is Q0. So at Q0 state, suppose 1 is come. So we are going to the Q1 state. So we are going to the Q1 state. Suppose at Q1 state, Suppose at Q1 state, suppose 1 is term, so it goes to Q2 state. And lastly, suppose at Q2 state, suppose 1 is term, so it goes to Q3 state. So this is the minimum string that is accepted by finite automata. It consisting of suppose input string 1, 1, 1, it is represented as 3 and 3 is divisible by 3. So we are getting the actual value as 0 means it is completely divisible by 3. So we are representing it as a final state. So this is our final state. What happens? Suppose 1, 1, 1, after that 1 is occurred. So this is nothing but number 4 and it is not divisible by 3. So can't be accepted by finite automata. But if suppose 6 times 1 is there. So how, how our finite automata is accepted such a string? So we are form a string which accept only input 1, 1, 1. So what about the 6 time 1? Suppose 1 time 1 is come, second time 1 is come, third time 1 is come. If suppose 4 time 1 is come, then if we draw the transition suppose likewise. Suppose here 1 is present. So what happens? Suppose add it consisting of 6 time 1, it is completely divisible by 3. So what happens? Suppose first one is come goes to Q1, second one is come goes to Q2, third one is come goes to Q3, fourth one is come goes to suppose Q0, fifth one is come goes to Q1, sixth one is come goes to Q2. Means as it is completely divisible by 3 but still it can't reach to the final state. So that's why this transition is a bound. So if suppose we consider this transition at Q1 state. Suppose first time 1 is come, then it goes to Q1, second time it goes to Q2, third time it goes to Q3, after that Q1, fourth time Q, uh, 1 is come, it goes to Q1, next after that 1 is come, it goes to Q2, after that 1 is come, it goes to Q3, means 6 times 1 is come, it goes to the final state, means it is accepted by our finite identity. Suppose 9 times 1 is come, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, suppose 9. First one is come, it goes to Q0 to Q1. Second one is come, goes to Q1 to Q2. Third one is come, it goes to Q2 to Q3. Fourth one is come, it goes to Q3 to Q1. Fifth one is come, it goes to Q1 to Q2. Sixth one is come, it goes to Q1 to Q3. Seventh one is come, it goes to Q3 to Q1 again. Eighth one is come, then it goes to Q1 to Q2. And last is 9, 1 is done, it goes to Q2 to Q3, means it reached to the final state. 
so multiple of three one comes so it is accepted by this particular finite automata so this is the final finite automata which accepts only those string that unary number is divisible by 3 so we are having the uh, initial state as q0 and final state as q3 so this is the final dfa for unary number is divisible by 3 okay thank you